All right, let's do this ultra stealthy mode engage. Oh, I thought I was going to lean against the wall there. So we got a couple of gecko in here. We want to be extra cautious with this area. It kind of looks like he's just looking right at the elevator door right now. Okay, so dudes, it's a it is a hot evening. <laughs> and so there's all kinds of fans running right now. Dudes, while we're in the pause menu, check that out. You can see Sunny, like that's a camera in the Nomad. That's kind of handy. That's kind of cool. You also get this uh, nifty map, which I never really use. But it does give us a little bit of insight into the area we're about to sneak into. I'm going to try to do this without getting spotted at all. If I recall, this area, there's two gecko in here. And we can just sneak right by him and not deal with them at all. Look at that. Uh, there is the other route as well on the other side. If we look at the map here, see over on the right, that is another way through as well. I feel like it's a bit of a jip if we don't even look in the room here. Is there anything worth grabbing? Look at right when I chose to run. <laughs> I'm going to go for the second door. I like to go through this one. He can't run up here anyway. So we're covered. That's how Joe Rogan says it. He says, I am covered when he does his ads. <laughs> it's another late night gaming sesh with Trent here. Guns of the Patriots. Oh, check that out. The alert's already off. Oh, look at this room, man. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, wait a minute. Is this the room where Metal Gear was housed? No, it's not. Because that would... It's similar, though. You got those walkways up there. You can't get up that way. You can't get up that high. Look at on the ceiling up there. Is that a gecko? Oh man, we got these creepy little bastards down here too. I have a feeling that's a gecko up there. Let's check out the binos. It is. Look at that. Man, if I had that 50 cal. Man, they just stick to the walls. I guess that's why they call them uh, geckos, huh? I never actually pieced that together. I was like, why the hell do they call him a gecko? It's because they stick to the walls. They crawl around up there. So we got a lot of these things scope in the area. Every time I'm about to move is when <laughs> he looks my way. I think he's just up there patrolling. Not sure if I can make a break for it. Not, not now, definitely not now. But if he comes all the way over here, I think I have a feeling that gecko on the ceiling is gonna spot me, or one of these little guys is. Hmm, what's the best route here? Maybe I should have gone through the left route. There's no way to climb under this track. Yep. Let's try the other route. <laughs> This dude doesn't know we're here. They kind of have ladies' legs. You ever notice that? I mean, they're also... They got the hoof feet. But they got some long, slender legs, man. Sexy, sexy gecko. He's just doing his routes. He's patrolling. This room is really cool, though. Oh, I wish I could explore a little bit more of the base, man. Maybe we'll get a different view from over here. 
Maybe another route that we couldn't see before. It might be wise to just take some of these guys out. Like, yeah, why not? We got a lot of operator ammo. It clearly doesn't alert him because we have the silencer on. I'm sorry, suppressor. You have to use the tactical term. He's looking right at me. I don't even think the octo camo works with these guys. I think they can probably see your body heat or something. It's a lot less of the uh, the little creepy armed guys. Oh, jeez. Go, go, go. Uh-oh. Never mind. <laughs> Turn around. Oh, shit. That's where the second one is. Dead end. Maybe if I lure them over here, they won't know. If I go up, you can't go up. Oh, did you see that? Oh my god. One little leg swipe. <laughs> You're toast. Oh man. Actually, I'm sweating right now. I'm sweating bullets. Let's take a few of these guys out. Might as well get some driven points. I'm not going to bother trying to take out the gecko, though. Oh, jeez. Look at that. My health is really low. That was not worth it. I need to save all of my regain and all that stuff. Because it's going to get pretty heavy. In the next room. Yep. Sneaky, sneaky. Notice the progression. This first room is a lot easier. You get to that second room, though, and man, man. They crank them dials, man, I'll tell you what. They cranking dials. Yeah, that's that gecko that was attached to the ceiling. Is he going back to the ceiling? Maybe there's no way over this. Maybe you have to go to the left side. I think you do. Shit. Or crawl under that. Yeah, crawl under it. Oh, damn. And I think that's the exit. Let me check the map. Yeah, the exit's on the right side, so I did have to go this way. But now I have to find a way to get past these two. You know, I'll bet a chaff grenade would work. I've got two of them. Totally works. Run. Can I get past this guy? Nope. <laughs> Shizzles. <laughs> Can't believe I survived that. Holy shit. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You're just too bad, Snake. You're just too bad. All right, what do we got? I don't remember this room. It's probably going to be like a floor that falls out from under me or something. Oh, I remember this Stay room. I totally remember this room. Oh shit. Let's switch to shotgun. We're going to need a little bit more firepower here. Maybe we're going to need more than that. Uh... Oh my god. There's too many of them. 
Let's use that chaff. We also gotta heal up, man. We are in bad shape. Probably could have climbed back into the duct. But this works. Do not fall down there. It's booby trapped. It took out a raven too. Noise. Oh man, they're already repopulating? Crap. Is there anything up here? There is. It's a fim. I got a fim, guys. They gave me a fim. And some noodles. Somebody left me some noodles. I think it would be worth it to just move forward. Hey, wait a minute. You can't drop down there, can you? There's an item down there. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's... That'll lead you to your death. I'm pretty sure. There's no way up. So it's gotta be. Okay, this is the Rex Hanger. It won't let you through. It won't let you through until you clear these. Fine, you can use the driving points. Is it the security camera? What the hell? Is it just because of the alert? It's gotta be. Yeah, they lost interest. Ah, oh, it's the Rex hangar. It's gone. Rex is gone already. Oh no, we're in trouble. I told you guys I was nervous about this playthrough. This is one of the parts that I was nervous about. Rex. Oh yeah. Look, the railgun's been removed. Liquid doesn't need the whole Rex to launch his nuke. He only needs the rail gun. Damn it. Has it already been shipped? Hang on, I'll check. It just happens to have a console in its foot. I'm afraid so. Unfortunately for you, the rail gun is no longer here. Oh, that's why she went back. 
as my queen wishes. The suicide gecko are on their way. Soon, there'll be nothing left of this place. We've been had. All gone. Snake, I think I might be able to get it working. I just need some time. Hurry! Sure, we'll try the shotgun. I'll take care of Rex. You take them. Kill that monster. Get Naomi back, Snake. Please. Was he throwing knives at me? I can barely see him. There's so many boss fights in this game. It's unbelievable. What kind of weapon could I use with this guy? It's definitely not a sniper rifle. This is not a sniper rifle situation. Uh, he just moves way too fast for anything like that. We need like a broad area with lots of damage. I thought the shotgun would do would do pretty good. What's this? That's a sniper. Okay. Yeah, we need like a mm, mm, RPG. RPG. No, 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 no. Explosives, you would think, would be good. You know what? Maybe just like some kind of... Yeah. Let's do... Oh, wait. Not the P90, but the... Yeah, here we go. Like, we need like a, a assault rifle. There we go. Nice acrobatics, dude. At least you're not in like some tight little quarters room like Raiden had to fight him in. Wasn't there something you gotta do? Let me check the codec. I think there's some special way you gotta fight him. Make him pay, Snake. Do it for me. For Emma. That's right, he killed Emma. Oh, does Rosemary see? Saying? I don't know much about Vamp, so there's not much I can offer you by way of advice. Then why did I call you? Have my unconditional support. Oh, that's going to help. <sighs> the one time that I call Rosemary and she says, I'm useless. <laughs> Do whatever it takes. Just make sure he stays down this time. Okay, I think Get we just got to... Okay, new strat. Just put bullets in him. Just put bullets in that. Enough. Enough what? You didn't do it. Get up. His health is really low. Look at that. I'm doing good. Oh, yeah. That's right. Wait, what? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, do you see how close I am to death here? Ooh, good thing I got noodles. There was something to that. Does it does Otacon say anything? What does it take to kill this guy? Yeah. I've done enough damage to finish him and he's just bouncing back. That's it. Remember what Naomi said after Raiden fought him in South America? The nano machines in his body are helping him heal at an accelerated rate. Damn. 
So conventional attacks won't do any good. I don't know. But for now, just give him everything you've got. Hmm. I know you gotta use that syringe, but I'm not sure. I can't sneak up on him. I can't grab the guy. So how am I supposed to make that happen? Oh, that's not fair. Where'd he go? There he is. Your toes, Tony. This gun kicks ass against Vamp. Oh, except when he does that. Or that. There we go. Now I know there's something to it. I think I've got to equip. Get rid of the iPod for now. There's the, the syringe. That's what it is. And then I got to have a CQC gun. And then I got to grab him. That's it. And then I slice his throat. No, that doesn't do it. Oh, I didn't have the syringe hooked up. Damn it. I did it wrong. It's no use. He keeps regenerating. What do we do? What do we you do? You must have a lot of noodles. Time to finish this. It's something like that. You have to like have the syringe equipped when you grab him. So equip the syringe, and then equip the operator, and then grab that motherfucker. Grab that motherfucker. And use that. Yeah. <laughs> what have you done? Now you're a mere mortal, like the rest of us. Yeah, bitch. Okay, now I'm kind of regretting the trash talk. <laughs> this is the part, dude. This is the part that I was dreading. Unless if somebody shows up to save me. It's a gray fox. Back, Snake. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. You ready for this? Sonny gave me the go ahead. Well, then I guess it's okay. Dude. 
don't be a sucker. When a bad guy says, hey, let's fight with honor, don't, just don't fall for that. It's a bit of a tease because you don't play as Raiden through this whole game. In fact, this part, it's kind of a unique thing they do with a split screen. But your snake, you got to take out those self-destructive uh, gecko. You know what? I want to have the uh, solid eye with night vision in order for this to work. And by the way, that's the railgun in first person view. And I don't remember, I think there's another angle that they come at you at, too. And I think that's why sometimes I don't... Sometimes I'll fail this mission. You also gotta watch your health, too. Yeah, see? What the hell? How can I watch all the angles? Did I get him? Oh, I feel so weak. You gotta wait for it to get fully charged. Yep, see? I knew it. That's what I was talking about. I think you gotta wait until it's fully charged. Yeah, I'm gonna try to just be a little bit more patient with it. So wait until it's fully charged. Set it to night vision. Oh, nice. Wait for the full charge. There we go, full charge. And then I think every now and then I gotta zoom out to make sure that I am watching all the angles. Oh, come on, how did that not take him out? Wait for it to get to level two. Trouble, man. I'm in trouble. You got a hit on him. That was a good shot. Yeah, if you can get them before they even jump close, then you got a good shot. It's kind of tense, man. Wait, was that not it? Above you. They're coming from above. From above? Snake. What the hell? Good, snake. Oh, geez, no way. There are just too many. Are you kidding me, bro? And my health is kind of low too. Oh man, he almost jumped away. I have a feeling there's one over here. Yeah, gotta watch that health, man. Gotta watch that health. Not pentezamine. Regain. That's the one. Damn it. 
and then switch back to your solid eye. Did I get him? Oh man, that was so close. Plus you gotta reload? Get it. That's too much to watch, man. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him hard. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no way! No way, it was my health. Okay, so you gotta manage your ammo. You gotta manage uh, the the cooldown or the, uh, the spin up on the weapon to reach full power. And you gotta manage your health. It's a bit much, dude. Yeah, yeah. I know what to do. I keep. I think you gotta hit their heads. That's another thing you gotta manage. There's like that little dome, the little R2D2 looking thing on their heads. I don't know if you can go through, if you can shoot through walls like that, though. Oh, shizzles. I am aware. I am fully aware. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use one of them damn noodles. Get back some noodles. Just to make sure. Where are they? Come on. Am I taking them out too fast? See, I don't even I can't even stop to look at that other. I can't even stop to look at what Raiden's doing now. Damn! Here they come again! Mm-hmm. Hang in there, Snake! Don't give up! Come on, perfect shot. Do it. Nice snake. Boosh. Ah, see, they try to sneak one by you. Hiding out behind you. Come on, I got a full charge. Come on. I'm doing pretty good though, this time, this round. I think anyway. Maybe I'm under the illusion that I'm doing pretty good. Feeling like someone's gonna creep up behind me. Here we go. Like to your death. <laughs> All right, we're racking up some driven points here too. Oh man! Oh, I took him out before he even climbed down. <laughs> oh shit! What's going on? Oh no! They got me with like a flashbang or something. Oh, it's because my solid eye is dying. Oh no, that's trouble. In front. Watch out, snake. Yeah. Oh no, I missed. I missed. Shit. I got him. Oh, that was so close. Okay, you know what? My health is getting low. Get back some noodle. No problem. We're back on it. And we got our night vision. Nice. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, that was close. Oof. That was intense, dudes. Yeah, I saw none of the riding fight. <laughs> I was so focused. You can't look away for a second. Natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nano machines inside his body. But after so many battles, he's finally reached his limit. Doctor, ease my pain. <laughs> Trust me, Dr. Emma. Give this to him. Not for revenge, but to end his suffering. Now you can return to your true self. You can be at peace. Nor can we give it. And so the only thing we can do is end it. Snake. Liquid's down below us. He's stolen the Patriot system, slipped out of their sight, and taken their Ark. Ark? A warship. Unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. Outer Haven? Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Snake, you have been given life so that you may fulfill your purpose. When all of this is over, you'll have no choice but to accept death. We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. Your life was created for that very purpose. We all 
must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. We must not leave them for the future. That is your true fate. One that even you cannot defy. living corpses. Our bodies kept barely alive by nanomachines. And you? Cancer. I shouldn't even be alive right now. The nanomachines have kept it from progressing. But there's nothing more they can do. With the nanomachines gone, time will Otacon's doomed. Any girl that he likes. <laughs> it's almost... It's almost comedic. I'm sorry. Just every woman that Otacon likes dies. Every time. There's a villain in Metal Gear Solid 6. If it's a woman, then Otacon just needs to start liking her and she'll die. The snake won't even have to fight her. runs.
Sure thing, man. No problem. <laughs> Let's wreck some shit. Oh, this is such a good payoff. Snake, we have to get out of here. Follow the supplies. Stop those gecko and head straight for the exit. Snake, I've made Rex's <laughs> control manual available. Check it out before you get started. I didn't even hear a word he said. <laughs> I just bought the shit up. You do it. Oh, let's try the laser then. Can you do the laser? Are so weak too. What about the AT missile? There we go. AT laser wasted. Let's rush through it now. To alternate between the uh, AT missiles and gathering them. And just kicking. That's pretty handy. Too. You can do a little rush thing too. Like a dash. There we go. If I recall, the four minutes they give you isn't really a lot of time. I've had a couple of instances where I totally ran out. Thing just mows through Gecko. Look at this. How cool is that? It's what an awesome payoff. Yeah, you want to drive Metal Gear Rex? Hell yeah, I do. If you're a Metal Gear fan, you gotta play this. Of course, I don't remember Rex having so much mobility. Out of two minutes. I think I'm almost in the clear. There's no way to heal the Rex, though. So, like, if your health gets really low, there's no way to recover. We're almost through. Is there one more corridor? One more, I guess. Go for it. Nice. There we go. We made it. All right, it's about to go off. It's about to go off. Down. 
Oh, they're just bringing all the Metal Gears out. Noise. Do you realize how freaking awesome that is? We're about to have a showdown between Rex and Ray. Do it. <laughs> Let's see if I can handle this thing. Hey, remember, you gotta watch out for his salvos. At some point, at some point, he just launches a ton of missiles. Oh, the camera just locks onto him. <laughs> Your toes. So you gotta alternate between the Gatling gun and that and the AT missiles. Oh shit, he's coming right at me. He's coming right at me. Oh man. <laughs> Reload. Oh, straight up kick to the face. Look at that. Boom. Uppercut. Motherfucker. Boom. What's this? Watch this. Watch this. That's the slam a jamma. <laughs> the slam a jamma. Yeah, dude, you haven't even hit me yet. Look at that. Boom, boom. Ooh, right, <laughs> Dude, I've never had such a good run. I've never had such a good run on this part. I'm not even slightly worried. Even though I think my controller just started... Oh, wait because it's the end scene. <laughs> Sometimes I get like my controller disconnects. This is the old school PS3. He's gonna run up and kick it in the face, watch. Is that how it opens? I don't think we saw that before. Dude, that's like a 10 foot drop. For an old man, that would break his spine. I got him again. It's that fox die. Gets you every time. Oh. He was faking it. Sorry, but that won't work this time. Is his shoulder still jacked up? What's going on? Why is he limping like that? That looks ridiculous. I love this part. Look at that. <laughs> the taunt. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, he's just got like 50 rays. Is that GW? Took his own arm off. This makes no damn sense. It doesn't <laughs> the physics on it. That's some that's some tough guy shit right there. That is that is some tough guy shit. They were asking me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building is in Godzilla. We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. The next thing we knew, the tourists had gone away. And a week later, I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence. That night, we went up to the top of the Empire State Building. It was so beautiful. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Perfect timing.
Oh man, there's nothing left but a sword, man. So Raiden's dead, <laughs> but mailing to the rescue to save Snake. So Snake now has a chance. I think we got one more mission left. This is the last act coming up. And I think the, the briefing takes place on the Missouri, which is going to be interesting. Uh, but also, I think Naomi is dead. Of course, uh, like I said, man, if there's a Metal Gear Solid 6, then uh, if the villain is female, then all the snakes got to just sit that one out and just let Otacon, uh get a crush on her. As soon as Otacon gets a crush on a girl, she dies. Uh, so that's what happened to Naomi as well as Emma, as well as Gry uh, what was her name? Uh, Sniper Wolf. Uh, yeah, it just it keeps happening to this poor bastard. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's hope for the best and the outcome of this one. All right, dudes, I'll see you in the next one.